The 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge came to a conclusion on the 30th of November. Fishermen subscribers have been fishing hard since May, competing for the Steigercraft 23 Miami rigged with a 250 horsepower Evinrude E-Tech, a Lowrance HDS Carbon 9 with the Structure Scan 3D Bundle, and more. Third prize went to Justin Mack, a Long Island Edition subscriber. He had two species, including the new Sea Robin category, and he won the Sea Eagle Fish Skiff. Garrett Weir, also a Long Island subscriber, took second place and is going to be on his way to the Zancudo Lodge down in Costa Rica. The 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge Grand Prize of the 23 Steigercraft Miami goes to Sam Dibner, a New England subscriber. Remember, to be part of the Fisherman's Dream Boat Contest, you need to be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine and fish hard. See the January issue of the Fisherman for the complete 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge wrap-up. Or visit thefisherman.com for the complete standings and to subscribe to the Fisherman in 2019 for our next Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. And on that 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 12 Cummins diesels a hummin', 11 poppers poppin', 10 stick baits stickin', 9 plugs a pluggin', 8 jerk baits a jerkin', 7 spot a swimmin', 6 tippets a layin', 5 chartreuse gulp, 4 diving gannets, 3 live eels, 2 chunks of bunker, and a subscription to the Fisherman Magazine. I'm Jim Hutchinson, New Jersey, Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. What can I say? I'm getting into the holiday spirit. We're only a few days away. In fact, we've got Christmas Eve coming on Monday. Great family time. And for a lot of my Italian friends too, it's also uh, the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Perhaps cod, right? A Christmas cod for you. Some of those are coming through on those long range offshore trips. A few of the party boats, a couple of hardcore charter boats are still making that 60 and 70 mile range to the offshore grounds whenever weather allows. Always seems to be nice during the middle of the week. And then by the weekend, it turns to junk. Of course, you're hitting those cod, you're headed for an offshore sea bass trip. Those jumbo sea bass are out there. Also some pollock, porgies, red hake, white hake. Tell you what, don't forget that black sea bass season, the window comes to a close on December 31st. That's gonna be the last day of the black sea bass season. So you wanna get out there right away. Boats are sailing now. Be sure to take advantage of that when you can. So what do we got? We got cod, black sea bass, pollock, porgies, ling, white hake, that's six. We need our seventh fish. Best bet for fish number seven right now along the Jersey and Delaware coast continues to be blackfish. And the reports we're getting from 70 feet to 70 fathoms, the best action south, pretty much south of here, Barnegat Inlet. Although Staten Island's Rob Crescido, he was out recently south of here, out of Absecon Inlet. He was fishing aboard the Osprey, the party boat Osprey, set and sail on those blackfish grounds. Now, we do have some rain and wind in the forecast for Friday, which could impact our sailing schedule come Saturday. Boat sailing Christmas Eve should do well, though. Everything's going to lay down by the end of the weekend. So if you're looking for a score on Christmas Eve day, you have plenty of opportunities to get out there to score. Now, striper-wise, in the surf, folks are still playing catch and release with those undersized striped bass, though cold water and the participation drop has reduced the reporting. But if you want to give it a shot, the best bet is sun up. The tins and teasers, sand eel imitations, tsunami sand eels, or savage eels, just be sure to bundle up, scale down, hope for the best, but expect a shutout. At least enjoy a great day as it arrives. And who knows, you could score. Again, they're in and they're out. There's a couple of hookups. You might be surprised, though, by a jerk at the other line, at the other end of the line as well. Boat-wise, most have laid up for the winter. There have been a few trolled up off of Cape May County, though. I know some folks were coming up from Delaware and trolling the mojos, but for the most part, finding that sand eels rule the roost. I know the Huber crew was out again and got on a few fish last week. Again, those tubes on umbrellas, old school rigs, if you're looking for those sand eels. I did post a striped bass article at thefisherman.com earlier this week. I told you about it last week. It's getting a lot of report. Uh, the status report. It's a status update. Now we're in a benchmark assessment year for striped bass. The preliminary report is out. We've got it broken down at thefisherman.com, but go over and check that out. Uh, we won't know until the first week in February from the, when the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission sits down to review all that data. 
but you can find out more by going to our homepage. And of course, while you're over there, uh, if you've not signed up for the free email updates, a lot of folks get the YouTube video every week just by being signed up to our YouTube video channel. But make sure you're getting the news alerts as well over at thefisherman.com. It's free, it's easy, and once you're signed up, you'll get those free weekly reports. Now, anybody who's signed up for the email now, you're not going to get a fishing report next week. We're taking a week off for the Christmas vacation. We will have our video forecast next Thursday, as usual, but no reports next week. You will be able to find out more details about who's sailing, what's biting, and of course, all those how-to and where-to articles in the December edition. Pick that up at your favorite tackle shop, your marinas, quick checks, Wawa, and I tell you what, subscriptions are a great gift idea this holiday season. Another great gift idea, last minute, stocking stuffers, office parties, secret Santa, a gift certificate to your local tackle shop, your favorite tackle shop. They've all got them. It's great in the stocking, and you can spend it all 2019. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. Good cheer. God bless. And I'll let my good friend here take us out before the holiday.